everybody I'm here today to show you how to do two-point and three-point turns in this video I'll be going over the basics for doing a two-point turn and a three-point turn now these are both methods for turning your car around in a specific spot and I'm gonna go over the basic steps let's get right into the video we're gonna start off with a two point turn now two point turn really utilizes um, reversing onto a street or a driveway whereas a three point turn it uses an extra movement an extra point but it's done within a set street you're not really using an additional driveway or an additional street without further ado let's get right into the video so for a two point turn it's very simple you're going to be driving and the first step for both of these movements is to pull over so let's start off with a two point turn so i'm just driving right over here i'm just going to go around this little loop in the street and then I'll show you the process for a two-point turn so the first thing is going to be to pull over so as I'm driving around this street I'm gonna pull over directly in front of a driveway directly past the driveway or a street that I want to use so I'm gonna use this street right this driveway right here I'm gonna pull over my right signal goes on check my rearview mirror my right side mirror and I stop I turn to the side and it stops so the first step is pulling over signal right Check your rear view mirror, your right side mirror, steer to the right when it's safe to do so and pull over. You're gonna leave your right signal on because you're gonna be reversing into a driveway or a street on your right. So I'm now gonna put it into reverse and then I'm gonna start moving back after I've looked all around and I've checked that it is safe to proceed backwards. I'm gonna start moving back and then I'm gonna use my mirror to guide me into that driveway. So right now I know that I can turn my wheel all the way, crank it all the way to the right. Turn your wheel all the way to the right, continue reversing into that driveway or that street, okay? And then straighten out your wheel and come to a complete stop. I'm now in the driveway, straight perpendicular to where I was before. Now put your car in drive, signal left because you want to proceed in the opposite direction. Check both ways multiple times. When it's safe to do so, make sure you've checked your mirrors on your blind spots. When it's safe to do so, proceed forward, steer left and turn around and that is how to do a two-point turn very simple and straightforward makes it super easy to do now the next thing is going to be a three-point turn so for a three-point turn what you want to do is the exact same thing you want to basically pull over and i'll show you right now i'm going to do this in this big loop of this street right here so i'm going to signal right and i'm going to pull over right now so i've signal right and i'm pulled over on the side of the street this is for a three-point turn once you pulled over you want to signal left and what you want to do is check your mirrors, check your blind spots, look in front of the car, look behind the car. And I'll give you some bonus tips towards the end, so stay tuned till the end. But you want to steer all the way to the left with your left signal on. When it's safe to do so, you want to proceed forward. Come to a complete stop before you hit the curb or the wall or whatever it is there. Then put the car in reverse, signal right, steer all the way right, look all around your car, and release the brake slash use the clutch and gas if you're driving a manual car continue looking all around as you reverse back then put the car in drive signal left steer all the way left look all around proceed forward and you're good to go you can continue driving just like that very simple i'm just going to uh, turn the car around just momentarily here now as an added bonus tip what i do want to say is this the safety has to come first when it comes to all of these movements okay meaning you know first and foremost the primary safety concern is going to be um, making absolutely sure that you have enough sighting in front of you and behind you to actually proceed so you got to make sure that you have enough um, vision in front of you and behind you and beside in all directions to proceed safely once you you know that you can see everything you got to make sure that you're signaling with every single movement from pulling over to turning left to reversing or whatever the case is every single movement has to involve a signal very simple and straightforward and in addition to that um, every single movement also has to involve checking your mirrors, your blind spots in all directions and so forth. Okay. It's not, I mean, you don't have to check all of your mirrors and all of your blind spots for everything. Like when you pull over to the right, you only have to check, um, your right side mirror, your rear view mirror and your right blind spot. You don't have to look at your left side mirror. However, um, you've got to look at the appropriate mirrors and the appropriate blind spots and in the appropriate directions for every, every movement. Basically every movement is going to require some looking of some sort. And that's 
essentially it. That is a basically how to do a two point turn and a three point turn. This has been a very simple tutorial in showing you the process for doing both two point turns and three point turns. They're both methods for turning your car around. Um, the two point turn, like I said, uses uh, an additional driveway or side street, whereas the three point turn just uses a confined street area, but they're both super useful. And uh, just make sure you, you keep safety at the front of your mind. And that's it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.